Hello and welcome back to Robocop. We can see that our guy is not doing so great. This is the damaged skin that we get from one of the DLC packs. I'm not gonna play the game like this because it looks, well... I, I kind of prefer to look a little bit nicer, you know, just, just for appearances sake, you know? It is kind of nice, I, I suppose. Yeah, so let's see what else we got. Yeah, what else we got? Uh... We have the Robocop skin from Robocop 2, as well as a couple of different skins for the Auto 9. I'm gonna get the pitch black one. Now the Robocop 2 version is, well it looks blue here, but it's more of like that sort of, sort of iridescent color, where it like, kind of changes color depending on the lighting. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, it might look gray or purple from other, in other lighting conditions. My dad used to have a car of that color. Back in the 90s. <laughs> there he is. The Before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe in the OCP bank. Why would you ever think that? Glad we got Murphy on our team. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. I guess we might as well just go straight there and handle all the finding the notes and stuff like that later. Let's do it, I guess. What's the big idea? Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? Oh, see, P skimps on everything when it comes to the police. Fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs, so now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. Yes, I am a licensed maintenance technician, so hold on. So, just gotta follow the wire. I don't even need to highlight it, I know exactly where that is. Surely someone else could have done it by this point. <laughs> like, you know, the lights are on here. Yeah, so now we just have to... Have to switch these on in the right order. Now there are some numbers down there below the the panel, which really or below the lights, those don't really seem to correspond to anything. And you just have to brute force this, as far as I know. I'm glad my circuit breaker doesn't make me like try to figure out the correct order to uh to flip the switches to get my power going. Thanks for the help, Murphy. Yeah, thankfully there's only four switches, so it doesn't take too long to to just figure it out. So it wasn't a mistake when they didn't send us insulated gloves. I'm afraid not. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs where it can. God knows what they'll cut next. Or who. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? I'm ready for you, Robo. All right, let's see what's cooking under the hood. Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. So, here's a kind of an interesting thing about that last mission. Here we got our primary objectives, and no explicit secondary objectives. But then we have in police work, bank intruder arrested. Which, of course, since we didn't detain Ortiz, we don't get the XP from that. Hmm. 
But of course we didn't detain her because that was the right, th right thing to do. The game doesn't often do this. I think this is actually the only time it does this sort of thing, which is a kind of a shame, I think. Yeah, that's kind of a Hello. missed opportunity there to, like, really, really... <laughs> I've seen your accomplishment on it's a better morality system than most games, like, even attempt, so... How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? It was cruel. To everyone involved, I'm sure. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? As echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. This don't sit like that. My spine hurts even looking at that. I've got plenty <laughs> to think about for now. Okay, let's see here. We got our four skill points once again. So at this point, I think I'll start working on the rest of the the abilities we don't have. So let's see here. Again, I don't quite remember what I picked, but apparently it was focus. So we get slow motion as well as the... I think I'll take fuse box recovery here. That would be good to have. Oh, we also get another OCP recovery charge. That's also good to have. Yeah, again, I'm leaving combat till last because it's arguably the least useful of this. But it's just, you know, bonus damage and a flashbang. We are going to build a brand new city where Detroit now stands. Delta City is the only hope that we have. If you say so. If you say, say so. so. Following the road, but the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. 
<laughs> Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. Oh my god, what a lemon. Ah, uh, more japes and hijinks even. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. It's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? You're gonna get him killed one of these days. That did not sound like fun. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. That is beside the point. Okay, nothing else around here, so into the briefing room we go. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's there, a hundred people died. He will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh... I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough. Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Well, we do have the shining armor already. <laughs> Now we just need a sword to be tapped on our sh on our shoulder. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's going to do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So, the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? Well, probably nothing, but still, I am not really... We're not really into the idea of OCP taking over entirely, so... I guess we'll just go with this. I will not let OCP take over this city. I knew you'd understand. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Yeah, so the election is going to be a bit of a subplot. That's going to be going on for most of the rest of the game. I see. I'd tell him all about how the OCP is fucking us over. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word if you actually met him. Why? Did you meet him? Last year's Thanksgiving parade. I was part of a column delegated to protecting his dog. What? How come this is the first time I'm hearing this? Officer Ramirez, a licensed dog walker. Shut up, Kaplan. Was it at least a cute dog? Hey, shiny. A good boy. Good job for you. 
But this guy's not a good boy. At the bank. Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Well, since you ask so nicely, how could we ever refuse? Alright, so first off we're gonna go meet with the old man and apparently there's a fish shop that is still open for some reason. Sure. Even though this area looks like a war zone, but at least they have fish, so that's good. Are we sure it's actually fish though? So they claim. You. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. You can just about see a path with an ominous red lighting. Just old junk that needs recycling. Wow, rude. Yeah, I kind of saw a path with some ominous red lighting back there, but I'm, I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Actually, all of this is ominous red lighting, so maybe it's really not a problem. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Well, I'm not sure about that, but this place has definitely seen, seen better days. Yeah? I mean, I think that's true of most of Detroit, but, you know, this place especially. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment. Or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood. Nothing like what you see right now. And whose fault is that? I dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city. A new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? Well, as far as OCP is concerned, Robocop is a machine, so he doesn't know about dreams, does he? <laughs> Are you asking a machine about dreams? You're selling yourself short, son. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? You cannot complain about the life that was granted to you. That's very humble of you. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems. And it's not a matter that we can overlook. 
That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? Well, they are pretty useful, I guess, and pretty nice. Yeah. I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? I mean, I think Lewis is really our main concern at the moment. My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Holy shit! What was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. That's right. Those guys act like they've never seen a guy jump out a window and do a superhero landing. Yeah, but we have now met up with the old man and... His characterization in this... Oh, hold on. You're done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that can get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. Yeah, the old man's character in this is more like a... Oh, I think we have to do this. He wants to raise towers of glass and steel? Eh, go ahead. Just not where we live. Yeah, he's more like sort of this... Almost like an old crime boss. Rather than a generic corporate ghoul like he was in Robocop 2. This is closer to his portrayal in Robocop 1, I think. There's this sort of sense of, like, mutual respect between him and Robocop. Hmm. I didn't know they actually brought him back in two. Smoking is dangerous, not to mention illegal. I don't give a shit about either. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Then you must suffer the consequences. Eh, no one in this country values independence. Also, maybe don't smoke at a gas station. Yeah, I think that is the main problem we are having with this this situation here. Yeah, the old man in Robocop 2, he is basically a completely different character. It's weird. Hmm. I'm sure I'm in the right place, but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Right. So much for my field training. Would have been amusing if there was like an actual rat with a police hat or something. Well, before we talk to Ulysses, let's just do our job. And also talk to these people, which is actually pretty easy to miss. Hey, Robo! Do the robot dance! Watch and learn, young man. Hi, you rock, Robo! This game rules. <laughs> Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today. Requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. 
I might not really be cut out for field work. Ask yourself, do I have the will to clean the streets of Detroit of unrighteous individuals? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good. You have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. And you got a different gun from last time, right? So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy like all the time? Police! I think that answers my question. Please! I need your help! Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that! An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk. Together with a clear and unshaking voice. Easy for you to say Robocop. Officers, thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happened is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Good luck down there. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings fortune. So Turn don't you come back without on. him. Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience. Yes, from this maintenance log. Well, that's helpful. I feel like at some point I'd just do it myself, but also I don't. That really does. That is a duty of the, like the landlord, I guess. So. It's generally not too dark in here, so we don't really need the night vision at all times. Clear. So it is. Clear. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Well, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Wow! I didn't know I had so much strength in me. You will never know until you try. Yeah, we could offer to do everything ourselves, but we are supposed to be training Ulysses here, so... So we'll just let him do what needs to be done. That, that's true, like, we could show him how to breach, uh, breach that, but I think having the experience is more valuable. Exactly. 
Ah, oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. Plot twist that is actually blood. And we actually have to scan the, the strawberry jam back there. Which I realize about now. <laughs> Just scouting ahead. The fugitive has left the trail. This time, pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spill paint can. Suspect might be intoxicated. I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Psh! I heard something. I think it's coming from the piano. Yep, that is a Felis Cotus. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Go ahead. There it is! It's escaping! Darn it! I like how Robocop's tone of voice is just like... Yeah, you don't need to tell me that we need to do that. Just do it. <laughs> well, yeah. It's locked, but Robocop is definitely the kind of guy who uh, asks forgiveness rather than permission. Yeah, we can't quite squeeze through the gap back there, that is. Yeah, we are too hench to fit through that, but... Now, let me get that door open for you. But Ulysses is a smaller guy, so... This time it's a one-way street, Mr. Cat. But where are you hiding? Come on. There he is. Oh, gosh, Fortune. You look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. Alright, so let's just investigate the rest of the basement. Might as well, yeah. Some kind of racket going on back here. Well, we're not sure what went on here, well, aside from the obvious. We know this guy got shot, but we don't really know why. That didn't really help us much. It's Washington. Do you read me? Loud and clear. What is your status? We got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Take your time and find the most advantageous location. Got it. Officer Washington? Sir. Keep cool. I am coming up to have your back. Glad to hear that, sir. And yeah, I was talking about the old man earlier and how he was like an old crime boss. 
I of course meant that he was like a mafia don who doesn't really <laughs> get his own hands dirty and kind of just lets his underlings do that sort of thing and and only gets involved when he actually has to. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I got. Yeah, but in Robocop 2, he's just a generic kind of corporate piece of shit. Not too dissimilar to Becker. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, the OCP shotgun, very good at close range, as you might expect. Also a cool, if slow, reload an animation. That is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that, that's like the minimum I expect out of a shotgun. The ragdoll physics are pretty good, though. Yeah, something weird happened here. That guy just kind of crumpled. And yeah, we have the slow motion now, so we can go bullet that whenever we want. Hell yeah. As long, of course, as we have the, the skill active and not on cooldown. Longer, sir. We're in pig. Nowhere to hide now. Drop your guns. Fuck! He got me. Ah! What is your status? I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. Can't even rescue a cat without getting hit in this town. Or getting shot in this town, I should say. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. It means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I've told you that cat brings luck. Isn't this just wonderful? Sure, we'll go with that, lady. Well, yeah. Ulysses did do a pretty decent job. Unless the old lady did it, of course. We didn't see, so we don't know. But why did they actually come here? Well, this might explain it. I think the old lady won the lottery, and these goons interrogated the guy in the basement to find out where she lived. Hmm. To get their hands on the winnings. Was this old lady apartment 9? Uh, I think I don't think that was. Actually, I think it might have been. Okay, because apartment nine, the winning numbers were all like they all had nine. I'm 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 sensing a trend here. 